Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today is Trading Card Tuesday. So we are looking at some Batman trading cards. This is the second series from the 1989 movie Batman, obviously. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, these are put out by Topps. Uh, there are nine cards and a sticker and a stick of bubblegum. Of course, like I always say, the bubblegum's probably not good anymore. Please don't chew it. It's it's almost in, certainly bad. And no, no matter how much sugar they put in it, I'm not going to save it. Now, the first series had yellow wrappers. second series has red ones. There were only two series to this movie, uh, as far as I'm aware, anyway. Uh, I believe OPG put out a version of these, but they had fewer cards, if I remember correctly, and they were bilingual. Uh, and those were available in Canada. Uh, but let's look at these and see what we've got here. Uh, we've got both covers. Uh, we've got Batman holding up the Joker and Batman with his grappling gun. So let's see what we've got. Um, the advertisement on this one is Series Deluxe Batman Set in Collector's Box. That was a mail away that you could get for a fancy box. Uh, I believe there is another ad, so there will be variation on the the wrappers if you're collecting those. Uh, as you can see, the back of the card is slightly different color. It's not yellow. These are blue. And the gum is stuck to our sticker. Alright, that came off fairly easily. Throw the gum away. Get the wrapper out of the way. Our first sticker is sticker number 40. There's a puzzle piece of the Joker. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a little bit of a sinus thing going. Alright, uh, now the card numbering picks up from the previous set. So our first card here is a Fantastic Miniature Set, card number 256. And here we have uh, card number 229, Heroic Escape. Card 152, Aiming to Kill. Festival of Madness, card number 175. Uh, card number 210, Mysterious Millionaire. Card number 137, Fistfuls of Funny Money. Retreat into Darkness, card 178. Card number 228, uh, City of Light and Danger. Now there were 132 cards uh, in this second series, and they were numbered 133 to 264. So that's something to think about when you're getting these. The numbering does pick up from the previous set, which had 132 cards as well. So lastly in our pack here we've got card number 177, Mission Accomplished. Now you'll notice these have a yellow border instead of a white border like Series 1 did. And with these, instead of having uh, paragraphs of movie synopsis, they all seem to have the logo with just one little paragraph. Because they really covered the movie in the first uh, set pretty well. But this one is mostly just to show off some pictures and uh, some images from like behind the scenes stuff like the the set here where they were flying the Batwing through the city was done with miniatures it was really pre CCG type stuff uh, most of the green screening back then was pretty primitive compared to today's standards so they did it with miniatures instead of computer graphics and lots of green screen so this is a little more um, technical base I guess all right, so let's look at our other pack here and see what we've got. This one has an ad for an official full-color Batman magazine, just like the first set one that we looked at. This pack is ripped at the seam here. I don't know how well that's going to show up. There we go. Get get rid of the gum. The gum does tend to stick to the st to the stickers. That was a mouthful. So you will get gum residue on those. Uh, here we have sticker number 36. There's an orange border with part of Batman's head. And then our first card is Alley Bat, card number 151. 
Then we have number 186, Trick or Treat. How the Joker Lives, card number 230, which is really kind of a lazy card because it's just a set photo. Uh, card number 212, The Villain Supreme. Then we've got some concept art on card 198, the Joker costume design. Card number 163, Instructions for Alfred. Card number 160, Murder Just for Laughs. Uh, the, crown, the Clown and the Clapboard, card number 234. Another behind the scenes photo, this one where they're getting ready to do the set. All right, and then we've got the title card, number 133, Batman the Second Series. Welcome to Batman the Second Series of Trading Cards. Based on Batman, the exciting new Warner Brothers adventure film starring Jack Nicholson and Michael Keaton. And there is a little dot of discoloration there where the ink didn't quite fill in properly. So beware of cards like that. But it tells you Series 2, 132 cards, 22 stickers. So the title card is pretty useful in that respect. Um, and of course it has like a nice feature if you're sticking them in a plastic box. You can see it real clearly. But that'll kind of give you an idea of the type of cards you can expect. These are really just cardboard. Standard cardboard with a matted image printed on them. So it's pretty easy for them to be destroyed. Especially the corners usually dinged up. You'll want to check that. The image quality, is it centered? Is the color good? Uh, texture, these do feel a little gritty over time, not just the ones where the wax seal was or where the gum was. So and the, the gum powder did kind of disperse in there and get, makes it feel a little, um, I don't know, uh, like, like cheap gloss over time. But overall, they were pretty decent little cards. And for what you paid, which is usually a quarter, 35 cents maybe for a pack, uh, they were pretty cheap. Now these are going to cost you between 2 and $5 a pack, maybe more, depending on how much interest there is in Batman. Whenever a new movie comes out that has Batman in it, the value and prices spike because everybody wants to jump on the craze. But that will give you kind of an idea of what to expect. Uh, the photos are really good quality. You have to make sure the cards are still in really good shape uh, so you can get a nice crisp image. They do look really cool framed if you're going that route or if you're just collecting them because you're a trading card aficionado, a comic book fan, or a pop culture movie buff. They are kind of a neat collectible. But that'll do it for this episode. As always, thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. And uh, if you want to help support the channel more and uh, there was no ad or anything in the front of this one, be sure and check out my books. That really helps a lot. But in the meantime, that'll do it for this one. Thanks as always, and we hope to see you on the next episode of What's Inside.